Walmart is going to close its remaining Portland stores as crime-ridden city battles shoplifting wave. We talked about shoplifting on the show the other day. Uh, the clip, something... The kids? Yeah, it was becoming a trend almost. On TikTok. And, and again, the intuition there was it, that for me at least is it probably won't end well. People have a variety of reasons. To, with with how they're capable of justifying such actions. But if you zoom out far enough, I think it's pretty easy to see that long-term there's going to be consequences. Uh, you're going to end up, people, people that are willing to pay are going to end up paying more. Sure. Companies that are serving a community could end up, I mean, maybe people are celebrating this this particular thing. But the cost of things has the potential to go up in general. Your access to things has the potential to change. And it it just may, in the long run, do more harm than good. Walmart will close its last two stores in crime-plagued Portland. By the way, Walmart has stated that it's poor sales. I believe the official line on that was poor sales. I don't know if they said it was because of theft, even though there is... Plenty of evidence that that could have played a role. Mm -hmm. Walmart said the decision to close the Portland stores followed a careful review of their overall performance. Now, I would assume that theft and losses would weigh into that performance, but I don't know to what extent. you got to measure out these profit margins. And it's funny because people say, well, really, the CEOs are the thieves because they're making so much damn money. Well, you know, okay, yeah, maybe, but, but... in the meantime, there's local people that are in your community that have a job at these stores, stock yeah. these shelves, could face some sort of punitive measure themselves for not monitoring these goods. Mm-hmm. There's, It's a lot. The problems start a lot smaller before you start to impact the guy at the very top. He'll just close the damn store. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nearly 600 employees who worked at the two stores uh, face layoffs or transfers, but I don't even know how you're really going to transfer when you live there. Are you really going to move for another Walmart job? Are you going to be able to afford that on a Walmart salary? And Maybe, maybe, I don't know. A careful review of overall performance. You can see the angle the New York Post took here. Uh, they really are leaning into the theft thing. I've noticed even myself, I'm scrolling the new version of Twitter, which has become extremely TikTok-y with fights. And I can see people being, uh, I, there's a lot of theft videos. Oh, look at this person stealing a TV straight out of a Walmart. Look at this person being confronted for filling their bag full of stuff. There is a feeling that it's more prevalent. I don't have the numbers. I'm not sure that Walmart would share it. It might be a bad look for them. Mm -hmm. But apparently, this, according to the 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 sort of sentiment being proposed by this particular by this particular website and others, is that this shoplifting stuff is pretty intense right now. Mm -hmm. And I think it I think it will play a role in the rapid transition away from typical retail experiences i really do at some point everything's online or everything is locked up and stuff just sucks and it (laughs) people could just be trusted with less and everybody it's it's everybody ends up suffering for the behavior of a small group and even those that were participating in a different way we have to sort of you have to program things for, um, you know, get spoiled for everyone, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Sure. I don't know. Retail retail is already up for grabs uh, as far as 2023 is concerned, post-COVID. It, retail is not what it used to be. Shopping malls? Malls are one thing, but just, I mean, just retail in general. It's more and more Amazon taking over the world. I don't know. Do you guys prefer that outcome? Do you prefer the outcome? I'm not saying Walmart's going anywhere immediately. I mean, you can leave Portland. There's going to be brick and mortar. But just in general, you're actually centralizing things more by pushing. And again, this really depends because the thing, the problem I have when I see some of these videos, whether I don't know, maybe they're staged. When I see some of these videos of a thief being 
uh, reprimanded mm-hmm. or caught or on camera. Mm. They seem so cavalier about it, like they've been doing it for years, and like it doesn't really matter where they're stealing from. Mm-hmm. So my feeling is that I know it's mostly focused on these big corporations, but once it becomes the norm, once you've got a trend and a theme and and it becomes an easy habit, it reaches into everything. It, reach, it, it eventually, for sure, it's going to touch small business as well, and it's going to... Mm-hmm. It's going to create a greater centralization of power in the in this particular space. We're not going to be able to get close to our goods. Everything's going to have to be shipped. Be- Bezos is going to be responsible for sending you everything from some locked up warehouse that you're not allowed to get near with armed guards. It gets uglier. Uh huh. And what about the post um, responsibilities of like? theft and then what happens to them is it just like a slap on the wrist or is it like something more um i guess aggressive like going to jail or something so you're talking about punishment yeah well it it, it absolutely creates friction and negativity in general if, if somebody gets confronted if there's the clip i actually watched that clip that was the tv clip if you scroll down you and you don't need to play the clip but this woman walks straight out with the TV and everybody recording the video and in the in the parking lot is laughing. There's a ha 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 look, she got the whole TV. She puts the TV in the car and proceeds to fall out of the car and almost get run over because the car driver is trying to speed away to for the getaway. Oh. The whole thing is just so goofy. Yeah. And obviously not sustainable. Obviously not sustainable if you're willing to zoom out far enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously not sustainable. 